Tuttle Up Stamping. Hi everyone, I'm Judy Tuttle from Tuttle Up Stamping. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Medellin, Texas, and I'm so happy to be with you here today. Um, we are having storms in Midland, Texas, so when we moved here, they told us it almost never rains or storms here. Well, this season has been... Um, an anomaly to that because <laughs> we have gotten a ton of rain um, and I, I don't mind it because it gets really hot here in Midland and um, rain is always welcome for sure. So how is everybody out there tonight? When you jump on, let me know you're here. I would love to be able to chat with you online and um, know that you're here. A friend of mine told me that she has not been getting the notifications that I'm live anymore and I'm wondering if that is because of this new eCam system I'm using. I wonder if some reason it's not interfacing with with Facebook and letting people know when I'm live so uh, I'm sorry about that. I'm gonna call them later on this afternoon and let them know um, let me ask them if there's any way around that. Um, so we'll try to get that figured out for sure. So welcome to my stamping room. Um, this is my office. This is where I cut, crop, design, do all the things. Um, I've just renovated a bedroom in my house, and this is what I use for my office for my Stampin' Up! business. So um, thanks for joining me. Hi, Cindy. I want you to know I sent you an email, and um, I would love for you to give me an answer to my question in that email. So I'm glad you hopped on so I could let you know that. All right, so let's chat a little bit about some things that we have going on. Uh, one of the most important things is that we have bonus days going on right now. Let's see if I can pull that up. Here we go. So for the month of July, anytime you spend $50 or more on any order, you're going to get um, uh, a $5 off coupon. So... Um, that means if you place four orders in the month and all four orders are between $50 and $100, you will get four coupons, okay? If you spend $200, you would get four coupons. So you're going to get a $5 off coupon to use in August for every $50 in an order you spend um, in July. So you cannot do a $25 order and then a $25 order one order has to be at least $50 for you to get your bonus day coupons. Those, and they can be stacked up. So when you place an order in August, then you can stack those on top of each other. And if you've got four coupons, you can take $20 off your order in August. Roz, so glad you're here. I got your message. I haven't had time to respond yet, but I'm going to respond. So um, let you, I just wanted to let you know that... Um, I have a response coming to you. So thank you. Hey, Dana, thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. So so that's all there is to know about bonus days coupons, okay? So I'm going to get rid of that here. And then I'm going to talk to you about online exclusives. We had a slew of online exclusives that uh, went live last week on Wednesday. I'm going to show you three cards with one of them today called the Iconic Celebration Suite. I'm excited to share that with you. Um, so if you're thinking of, of purchasing, there are a lot of things in our online order category um, that um, are not in the catalog. So every month, Stampin' Up! is starting to um, deliver these new online exclusives and the only way you can see them is to get online. How do you get online? Let's talk about that. If you would like to shop with me, which I hope you would, you're going to go to the TuttleUpShop.com. That will take you directly to my online store where you can shop with me. Let me get rid of this banner that's up there right now. There we go. So TuttleUpShop is how you directly shop with me in my online store. And if you would like um, to use a host code... Um, you only should use it if your order is less than $150. If you use the host code, then that lets me know that you would like the online class to go that I'm showing you today, okay? I hope that all makes sense. 
Hi, thanks, Jen. You know, I'm starting to get this tech stuff down. Still working on trying to get it to go live to YouTube as well, but we will figure all that out for sure. So, all right. So, something cool that's coming up. I'm going to get rid of these two sliders here. Um, get rid of my logo, get rid of that, get rid of my host code Y3BKZQ92 is my host code for this month. So it is up there. You can always write that down um, as you're watching me um, today. All right. So, oops, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Um, I'm adding things instead of getting, here it is. Here's the host code. Okay. So I'm trying something new, you guys, and I'm hoping you will love this. So once a month, I'm going to give you the opportunity to pre-buy a kit um, that will coordinate with my very last Facebook Live of the month. So on July 29th, I'm doing a Facebook Live. You can get a craft along kit. Uh, craft along kit for this month is the Seaside Wishes Bundle. We will be making three cards and one 3D project together. If you get it ahead of a time, ahead of time, um, then you get the measurements. You get everything cut except for the DSP. But I give you measurements on how to cut that, and you can craft along with me as I am doing my Facebook Live. So I hope that's something you might be interested in. I've already had a couple of people add that on, and I'm so excited about this. Um, I'm going to take this slider off. And I am going to go to my hands because I want to show you what you'll get. Okay, so if you do the Craft Along project with me for July, Craft Along July, Seaside Wishes, we are going to give you a half a pack of the Country Lace Designer Series paper. A half a pack, so I'll just slice it right down the middle, 6 by 12. You will get a full pack of these sequins, which are called the Adhesive Back Sequins Trio, a full pack. You will get a full pack of the Basic Beige Ribbon. What's the exact name here? Bordered Ribbon. Basic Beige Bordered Ribbon. And you will get a PDF to make three beautiful cards. I'm not going to show them all to you because I want it to be somewhat of a surprise. Using the Seaside Wishes Bundle and a 3D project as well. So, including what goes inside the 3D project, okay? So, I think that um, it'll be fun. You can always get the online kit to go afterwards. You just will not be able to um, buy, um, get the extra DSP and, and embellishments and ribbon with it. If you get it after the fact, which you still can do, um, all that extra stuff will not be included. So I will put the link to the Craft Along event in this description after this um, video is over. I think you guys will enjoy being able to craft with me as I um, do uh, a Facebook once a month, right? So uh, Dana, the kit is $45. It includes... Uh, the make and takes for three cards, a 3D item, including what goes inside the 3D item, half a pack of paper, full pack of embellishments, full pack of ribbon. So over $26 worth of product included in that, okay? So um, information about that and the link will go up in, hi Jan, thanks for joining me, go up in the description after um the the facebook live today is over okay i'll put all that information there the best way to know about all of my events and things that are going on is to be a part of my email list i'm going to go back to my face for just a second uh, the the best way to know about all my events all my classes all my craft alongs all my card kits to go is to be a part of my email list and i will put a link again to the email list up in the description for you so that you can just click on it and add yourself to my email list as you wish, okay? All right, somebody won my cards from last week and let me tell you, 
You guys blew me away with your interest in my Adventurous Skies online class to go. I sold more classes of this one than I have of any other online class to go. And I'm so humbled that you guys love this class and would like to have it to go so that you can do it at home. So um, these were the three cards we did last week. Uh, flying by to say hi. You're the best. Um, I love that one. And then this one, which was a tribute to my dad um, and the air shows he used to take me to as a child um, on the 4th of July. And there's the 4th of July celebration inside. So the winner of these cards from last week is Jeannie Carlson. Jeannie Carlson. Um, I think Jeannie left a message on my Facebook um, uh, video from last week. So Jeannie, if you are out there, send me your address and I will get these cards in the mail to you today, if I know it today. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my hands here so that you can see what we're doing. So today we are using a new online exclusive suite that's called Iconic Celebrations. And what I love most about this suite is that it covers lots of holidays, okay? So you can see in the stamp set, it says celebrate, grateful. Um, you've got birthday candles, you got trees, you got leaves, um, you got fall leaves, you got like Christmas um, holly type leaves, um, you've got hearts, stars, confetti, um, and all kinds of things that you can talk about celebrating, okay? So it's, it's you're gonna see, we're gonna make three cards today. One is going to be a Christmas card, one's going to be a fallish gratefulness card, and one is gonna be a birthday card, okay? So these are the dies, they coordinate with the stamp set, and you can see that all of these little images can be die cut out with the dies. You also get some awesome labels in there and then some little extra little sprigs and hearts and stars and, and that sort of thing. Also in the suite, which is $67.50, you get a package of these um, pecan pie and clear, it says ribbon adhesive dots. Uh, I can see why now and it's very subtle, hard to see. Let me see if I can get close to the camera. Um, there is like almost a, um, I don't know why they call it ribboned. I would call it um, crosshatch or zigzag design that pops up inside the gems. I don't know if you can see that there. And then the suite also comes with this beautiful frayed edged white ribbon. Okay, so that is what you get in the suite. Um, the stamp set, the dies, the ribbon, the uh, embellishments, and of course, the designer series paper. So I just want to flip through this real quick so that you can see all the holidays that are in here. So definitely Christmas, right? Um, you get a red on the back there. You get some candy canes, which is fun. You get some green greenery. You get some champagne glasses, perfect for a wedding, right? Um, and then let's see some hearts again, perfect for Valentine's or a wedding. Um, you get, these are acorns and the back side is this polka dot pattern. Okay. Right here. Um, you get a fun plaid and the back side of that is this, um, holly berry design. Um, you get this mousy meadow stripe with some leaves. We're going to be using that today. You get fireworks. Um, that would be fun with the light the sky bundle that we used last week. Um, you get some birthday candles. You also get some trees in that moody mob. And on the back side, you get the snowflakes. How fun is this? So just very versatile, um, Prince, this dove is beautiful for Christmas as well, right? Um, some stars. And here is a fun stripe. We're going to be using that today. The back side of that is a pecan pie with the trees on it. And then you get some confetti. 
and then the back side of that is some stars so you can kind of see the colors that are part of this suite there is mossy meadow cajun craze moody mauve um misty moonlight uh cherry cobbler those are the colors that they list <clears throat> so someone asked me how do i know what colors to choose i almost always go to the back side of the dsp and choose coordinating colors that's what makes it so so easy right all right so let's get started today um we are going to use two additional die sets today we are going to use of course stylish shapes i use these on almost every card i ever make and these dies are new they're also in an online exclusive and i love them already look at all those fun shapes labels they all have a little hole in them so that you can make them into tags um, but you can also cover up that hole and i'm going to show you how i did that on my card today this is called greetings of the season dies it comes with an awesome stamp set of sentiments as well so we're going to be using those two as well okay all right so hi judy gill hi jan thanks um you know what we are safe we have some thunderstorms our biggest threat in midland is always floods because it almost never rains here and um, when it does things we actually although we live in the desert have to have flood insurance because when it does rain hard our street floods we actually watched a couple of weeks ago the water just kind of edge up to our house and then it receded so we were fine evidently our street hasn't flooded since 1967 um, but you know they want to keep us safe and make sure that we um, that we um, won't get in trouble with a flood right okay so here we go here's our first card today this is going to be a birthday card super fun lots of fun elements on this card uh, we're going to use that those uh, birthday candles and the confetti on this one um, i hope you enjoy this one okay so here we go we are starting with a card base of misty moonlight that is cut five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter okay i'm going to grab my bone folder i'm going to give that a nice little crease right there on the edge okay all right so this is going to go this way we're going to open it what do we call this landscape i don't know portrait i don't know it's going to be portrait first and then it's going to open to the left okay then um, I have a piece of Moody Mauve that is four by five and a half. Hi, Sherry. Thanks for joining me today. Um, four by five and a quarter, four by five and a quarter. And I'm going to hear that to the front of our card base here. All the cards today with this iconic celebration suite are going to be very simple cards, easily duplicatable. Um, I have a piece now of basic white that is cut three and three fourths by five and I have embossed it with our new dotted embossing folder. Isn't that cool? Um, I used this a couple weeks ago when we did the filled with fun um, stamp set. It's a super big size. Our new, so we have some new embossing folders. These are about six inches by um eight and a half inches so huge um i'm just using a portion of it so i'm going to adhere that and when i have an embossed piece i don't like to put my seal plus or my um, glue dispenser directly on the embossing i don't like to go this way because i feel like it presses out um, the embossed image okay so i've got that i'm gonna put that right there centered in that panel right there okay let's see if i can zoom in just a tiny bit for you there maybe that'll be helpful okay there we go now i have a bunch of squares let me grab them here i have two squares that are from the stylish shape die so you get that little stitched edge around the top there okay and 
thinks um, it's two and three eighths inches is the size of the square that I'm using. I want two of those, okay? And then I have two Moody Mauve squares, and I actually cut these without the dice because I wanted a little bit of a different border around it. And these are both cut two and one eighth inches, two and one eighth inches. So I'm gonna take each of these and I'm gonna adhere them inside my Misty Moonlight. So I actually um, pasted this card from when I got in a swap and I'm embarrassed to say that I lost the person's name. So if it's you, thank you for giving me an awesome swap that I could show my customers and I want you to know I really appreciate it. Okay, you need two pieces of DSP that are cut with the one and seven eighth inch square from the stylus shapes okay so i did one in the confetti and one in the birthday candles okay so i'm going to add these to make sure i didn't go off the edge there i did just a tad the center of each of these squares So this is the first of three that I'm gonna to show today. They're all, like I said, pretty simple. I think you're gonna love them all. And that's what I really love about this suite um, is that you can create really fun um, cards with the iconic images for lots of different holidays. Okay, so now I put seal on the back of that. I'm gonna put this one right up here in this corner right there and then I'm going to do the same thing with this one okay and it's going to go right down here in this corner right like that that's going to be the front of our card okay then I cut one of the labels out of a basic white and this is this label right here from the Greetings of the Season dies that are in the online shop. These are awesome dice. You guys are, I'm going to buy another set just so I have two. Um, so this hole is here, but I'm going to end up covering that up, and I'll show you that in just a second. So I'm going to grab my Misty Moonlight ink and my moody mauve ink here we go i'm gonna stamp celebrate across this tag these tags are perfect for this yay brenda i'm showing the uh iconic celebration stamp set today um sweet okay so i'm stamping celebrate right there on that tag isn't that amazing um, that is in misty moonlight and then I'm going to grab my moody mauve and I'm going to add a heart to this tag right up here in this corner right like that isn't that fun now this is going to get popped up diagonally like that right across the front um, of that card. So I'm going to add some dimensionals to the back of this. I'm going to try to decide kind of where I want my I want one right here and here and one over here. So did you guys do anything fun 4th of July? We had a cookout, my friend Brenda came, and my friend Lynn, and then we had family. My son and daughter-in-law and his parents came. They were in town visiting, um, so that was super fun. And we had a parade, Midland has a Midland parade in the morning, and um, we, watched, we watched the parade with our grandkids in it together, okay? So now I'm taking these clear 
gems that are from the Pecan Pie and Clear Ribboned gems, and I'm just spattering them on. But first of all, I'm gonna take one and cover that hole right there. So that hole, look, disappeared. Voila, it went away. Okay, so this one is gonna go up here. And again, the only way you can find this set is if you look for online exclusives in my online store. So once you get in my online store, if you go up to the search bar and type in online exclusives, and um, all the online exclusives will pop up. I always like to use the toggle down button and change it to newest, um, and then the newest ones will, will pop up, okay? I almost feel like we need one more up here at the top. What do you think? I have four, and that always bugs me, even numbers, right? So I'm gonna put a fifth one and maybe Drop it right there. So just scatter them on. Odd numbers are always fun. Okay, so now for the inside, I am going to um, do something very simple. I've just got a piece of basic white, cut four by five and a quarter. And I have two different DSPs I can choose from. Maybe you guys can help me. Do you think I should use the confetti or do you think I should use the birthday candles? I'll let you guys vote. Let me know what you think. While you guys are voting, I'm going to start putting some of this other stuff away. Um, get it out of the way. And then we'll do the inside. So, confetti. Brenda says confetti. What do you guys think? Anybody else have an opinion? If not, Brenda will get... Oh, Dana says confetti as well. All right, we're gonna go with the confetti. We're gonna go with the confetti. So I'm going to, this is cut three quarters of an inch by five and a quarter. Mine's actually cut longer um, because I like to have some room for it to go off the edge and me to snip it off. Um, I hate when things are too short, right? So I'm gonna trim off this extra here. There we go. Plenty of room to write on the inside. And some people like that, some people don't. My friend Imelda's like, I kind of like when we don't have a lot of room on the inside. Everybody said confetti. Good. We all agree. Hi, Emily. Thanks for joining me. All right. So here we go. If you wanted to put happy birthday in there you could you could do whatever celebration you want to do so that is card number one i hope you guys love that you can show me love by giving me some hearts or just telling me that you liked it in the comments either of those would work all right so the next card which one should i do next i don't know um i think i'll do the fall card next okay Thanks, Roz. Uh, came over for the day. The kids hung out in the pool. Oh, fun. Do you have a pool, Roz? Or do you? is it just your um, retirement community that has a pool? Um, I We don't have a pool, but I would love a pool. Um, but so a lot of people who have a pool said so they, don't, they don't love them. Um, but I think in Midland, we would get a lot of use out of it. Uh, we went to some friend's house last night and just, you know, hung out at their pool last night as well. Um, so I love a pool. Okay, so the next card, we have a piece of copper clay. This is copper clay. And it is five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. And this time our card is going to open in this direction right here. Okay. Then I have two panels of basic white. Um, they are both cut four by five and a quarter. Okay, they're both cut four by five and a quarter. So the first one is going to go right on top of our copper clay here. Boop. There we go. I don't know if I showed you what this card looks like. Here, let me show you what the end result will be. Super simple, super cute, great for fall card. 
right? Sometimes we need, I, I like to do crazy out of the box cards with fun folds, but sometimes we just need to whip together some super easy cards. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. <coughs> One thing I've learned about Midland is that my allergies are crazy here. So I never had allergies in Lincoln. Um, but we have a lot of dry weather and dust here. So, and so we're, we're pollen, right? The rain has helped, though. You would think with all the rain we had. So there we go. That's a little pumpkin design. Isn't that cute? So fun. If you have an in-ground pool, it's too hot to haul kids to the beach. Yes, I get you. Thank you. Okay, and then I have another piece, and I'm using this... Um, copper clay one that is two inches by four inches okay so I'm going to add some seal plus to the back and just center that right in the middle right there okay so then the next thing I want to do is grab some ribbon and this is that white frayed ribbon that I showed you earlier. There we go. And I'm just going to lay this ribbon right across the front of my card here. I'm going to cut this at a diagonal. I'm going to lay it right across the front of my card, right over that seal plus that I just put down right there. And then I'm going to cut it on this end at a diagonal as well. There we go. Okay. Then, thanks guys. I've cut a label from the Iconic Celebrations dies. It's this fun label right here. I love the design of that. And on this label, I'm going to stamp Grateful. I love gratefulness cards. Those of you out there that know me know that I love um, to send cards, especially in the month. Last year, in the month of November, I sent out a gratefulness card every day of the entire month to show my friends and family how much I love them. Okay, so that is going to go right in the middle there. Now, before I do that, I've got a scrap of white here that I'm going to use to stamp some leaves. Okay. So this is a very monochromatic card, which means basically one real color scheme, right? Um, which in this case is copper clay. So I'm going to stamp two outlines of leaves. There we go. And then I'm going to stamp two insides, but I don't want them to be full strength. I'm going to stamp off. So I'm going to ink it up. Stamp it off one time on my grid paper, and then I'm going to stamp it over the leaf image like that. I'm going to do that one more time. There we go. Now I'm going to grab my die. That is my leaf here. I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to die cut this out. Now, I like to use post-it note tape to hold mine in place. So I'm going to put my post-it note tape on there, run it through two times, one for each leaf. So here's the first leaf. Do it one more time. Just move this over. Mm, I don't like when I cover the whole thing up. Let's do it like that. Sometimes if you cover the whole thing up, if it moves, you can't tell that it moved. And then you get a wonky leaf, which nobody wants a wonky leaf, right? Okay, so there's my second leaf. There we go. And I'm going to put a dimensional on the back of each of these. So, do you find it hard to take care of your um, in-ground pool rods? 
we have room for it in our backyard. It's convincing my husband we really need one. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> we would seriously use it probably eight or nine months out of the year. So I feel like it would be a good investment, but um, and I don't really know how much value it adds to a house because um, some people love them and some people hate them, right? Okay, so there we go. I added those to my label with um, dimensionals. And then I'm going to go back to my gems here. I'm just going to grab one of these pecan pie gems. And I'm just going to add it right there to the bottom of that leaf to where the leaves come together and then I'm going to add some dimensionals to the back here. I'm going to kind of avoid that middle section where the ribbon will um, go through. We're kind of bridging that ribbon that's on the front. Dimensionals don't tend to stick very closely to ribbon. Okay. So this is going to be super simple card, right? But nothing's wrong with simple, and people love simple cards. So, all right. So there we go. There's the front. Now, I, well, all I did on the inside is take a piece of basic white here, and I cut a strip of those pumpkins out of that DSP. It ends up being about five eighths by five and a quarter. Okay, again, I did mine a little long so that um, I can um, cut a little bit off here. So I'm going to, it really is pretty easy. How fun is that? Isn't that a fun little detail on the inside? Um, you could also stamp leaves on the inside if you wanted to. You could use the other DSP, which is the polka dot. Um, whatever floats your boat, right? I love the fall card too. So we're going to take this off. Thanks, Brenda. What sounds nice? A pool in the backyard or rain? <laughs> right now we're having rain, Kathy, but pool in the backyard always sounds really nice I think so here we go luckily we have lots of friends that have pools so we take advantage of um, using their pools whenever they invite us so there we go isn't that a sweet little fall card I agree with Brenda I really love it super simple and um, there's the inside so that's card number two card number three is going to be a Christmas card and let me show you what it looks like. I really like it. I received one as a swap, but it was in a totally different color scheme. It was in blues. So this is the card that we're going to make today. Peace, joy, and light. All the things that the holiday season brings into our lives, right? Um, so let's do this. I think you're going to like it. Uh, Check the chemicals. We have a pool cage screen around the pool so it doesn't give. Oh, that's a good idea. My sister's pool, uh, where she used to live, had a big screen um, around it as well. And um, that does make it super, super nice uh, to keep your, your um, pool clean. Okay, so for this one, we are starting with... It's in the hot south. I don't think a pool is a luxury. Most of the time, it's the only way. I, I uh, totally agree. I totally agree. And I think Brenda would agree with you as well. It's, uh, um, it's, a it's, it's really not a luxury. It's, it's like something you need if you want to spend time outside, for sure. So Mossy Meadow is what we're doing. This is cut four and a quarter by 11 scored at five and a half and we're going to put the score line here to the left okay so it's going to open long ways this way um then i have a piece of let me get all my parts here so i don't lose anything a piece of basic beige i have two of them 
I should have put the number two here. Two pieces of basic beige that are both cut three and a quarter by five and a half. Three and a quarter by five and a half, okay? Yes, I do agree, Ross, that we would use it probably a good seven months out of the year for sure, right? So this one is gonna go on the inside here. I'm gonna just put it right like that. Okay, mm, perfect, okay. Thought it went over the edge a little bit, but it's perfect, okay? And then I have a piece of white that we're gonna put right over that, like that. And I probably should have stamped on that first. We're gonna do some stamping, hopefully. My stamping will not be a mess so that we didn't mess up the inside of our card. You really should stamp before you glue something down because, um, there we go, getting that little bit of an edge off of that, of the white, off the edge of my mossy meadow here. There we go. All right. Might need to straighten that out with my paper cutter. <laughs> I think I cut a tiny bit crooked. So there we go. Somebody asked me where I got this paper cutter. Um, those of you that are demonstrators know that this was trying to cut through three layers there. There we go. Uh, this was a um, join gift from um, a couple years ago. So. That's where I got it. I use it all the time, especially on my Facebook Lives. There we go. Looks like everything's all evened out. Looks perfect. Okay. All right, so that's the inside of my card. We're gonna deal more with that in a minute. Um, here we go. This piece is gonna go up on the front of our card right here, but before I do that, I'm gonna add some DSP panels. So I've got one panel that's cut two inches by three inches. That one's gonna go in the middle right here. I have two panels that are cut one and a half by three inches, and those are gonna go on the outside here, okay? So this time I'm gonna add a little liquid glue because I want to be able to move it slightly if I need to. Okay, so this one is gonna go right here along this edge might move it down just a tad, there we go. Okay, then I'm gonna put the other striped piece of DSP. These are both cut one and a half by three, and I'm gonna glue it with liquid glue to this other side right here. This would be super, you could do this with any of the DSPs in that um, packet for many different occasions. Just change up the cardstock a little bit and you can use this sketch layout um, with lots of different designer series papers, especially that are in this iconic celebrations um, suite. You could make this same card for Christmas, fall, birthday, whatever you wanted. Just change out the DSPs and you have it made. Okay. Then in this bundle, there are three of these labels. Actually, there's one label that I cut three of in basic white, and it's this tiny little label that's right here, okay? So I have three of them. I think I'm gonna go ahead and glue this to the front of our card base here. So let me get this out of the way. Kind of go right here. I'm gonna make sure everything's really straight all the way across. There we go, okay? Now I have three of these little dies right here and I'm gonna pull out my Mossy Meadow ink pad. And I have three words I wanna use. Let me trade out some of my stamp blocks here. I have the word peace. 
that I'm going to stamp on one of them. There we go. I have the word joy that I'm going to stamp on another one. I need to move my blocks around a little bit here. Joy. And I could have done love, but I think that I like the word light. I like the light of Christmas. Um, so I'm deciding to use the word light instead of love. But love would be fine too. Love is good, right? Okay, there we go, light. Okay, there we go. Now I've cut a whole bunch of these little sprigs using these little sprig dies right here, okay? And I cut them out in white. So I have four of them that we're gonna use on these cards. But then I also have a scrap of basic beige, and I'm gonna stamp some of those holly leaves on this, okay? So I have the outline image and the inside image. Let me make sure I'm using the right one. So the outline image, we're gonna stamp two of them in Mossy Meadow, like that. Those really look very different in color, probably because I inked that one up a little bit more. Oh, who knows? Okay, then, this is the inside of the ink color. I've learned not to get too upset because the person receiving your card is gonna love it. And it's not gonna be near as critical of it as we are of ourselves, right? Um, there we go. So I inked it up, stamped it off once for the inside, and then, and then stamped it onto the inside of that detail image. Now I'm gonna grab the detail die and I'm gonna lay it on top. I'm gonna to do just what I did last time. Add my post-it note tape here. Post-it note tape can be found on Amazon. Uh, I've never found it in the stores. Um, if you have, you're a lucky duck. I look at all the office supply places. I've gone to Target, Walmart. I haven't been able to find it in the store. So I have resorted to Amazon for that. Okay, and then here we go. I'm gonna move it over to this other leaf and do the same thing again. Then all we have to do is adhere these together and put them on the front of our cards and we are good to go. Put this aside. So no regrets from you, huh, Roz, about the pool situation. Okay, so this leaf is going to go on the back right here of the piece. So I'm going to add a little adhesive right there. Pop that on and then add some dimensionals to the back side of this. So you guys, I'm very close to earning the next incentive trip. I could use any of the sales you're willing to give me. Um, you know, I'm going to earn it um, eventually and I want you to know um, how much I appreciate all the support you guys give me, not just watching my Facebook Lives, but coming to classes and being a part of um, my team and all the things you've done. Now, let's talk about being part of a team. July is the perfect time to join, even though it doesn't have a join special, because if you join right now, you are guaranteed until the end of January to be a demonstrator and you will get 20% off at least until the end of January. Some people reach uh, higher discount levels a little sooner, um, but if you join now, 
That'll take you all the way through the holiday season and into celebration, which we have in January every year, and into the spring catalog. So great time to join. If you would like any information about joining my team, I'd be happy to chat with you about that. We have a lot of fun together, um, and I think you would love being a part of um, my Stampin' Up! Stampers team. We're a very positive, encouraging group of people. We share with each other. Um, we encourage one another, and that's what I love about my team. Um, we have monthly team meetings where we share with each other and get to know each other. Um, so anyway, if you are not a demonstrator and you would like to get 20% off your orders, um, being a part of the team is the best way um, to do that. And right now is a great time to join, even without a join special going on. Okay, so this one's going to go right here in the middle. I just attached those two white sprigs. Isn't that pretty? I love that. Okay, so now... What I decided I'm going to do on the inside, it's risky, so pray for me. No, I'm just kidding. We're going to take that leaf outline, and I'm going to come up from this corner. Oh, it's going to be fine. There we go. And I'm going to come down from this corner right here. See, I kind of messed that up. Let's see if I can. Don't do this at home, folks. I'm going to, the nice thing about photopolymer is that we can correct mistakes because we can see through. This is an advanced. Yay, it worked. <laughs> okay. You can line everything up and stamp again. So I'm going to stamp off. I'm going to add my shadows. That was very brave since I already had everything glued down there. Okay, there we go. And then do the same thing over here. Ink it up. Stamp it off once. And let's stamp inside. I love photopolymer stamps because you can do... Isn't that pretty? And of course, you can put Merry Christmas or whatever you want on the inside of that. Now, the last thing I've got to do is add some gems here you can always yes the nice thing about the lives melissa is that um you can watch the replay right <laughs> if you need to and of course i'll show all three cards i made today melissa is a very new member to my team she joined um with the last special we had but um and she joined because she wanted the discount, right? So Melissa's a hobby stamper. My friend Brenda, who's been watching with us today, is also a hobby stamper. So no need to do what I do unless you want to. And if you want to, I'm definitely not going to discourage you um, because I am, you know, can make a little bit of an income on my retirement from being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And obviously, I get some awesome trips the next trip is to disney world which is what i'm trying to earn right now so here we go this is our last card oh thanks judy don't you love it i love the gems on it let me show you all three cards we made today and remember that you can get a card kit to make six of these cards for me with any purchase okay Everything's wanting to attach to me here. Any purchase of $35 or more, here we go, in my online store. Um, and so you would get a kit to make these six cards right here. Um, thanks, Jan. Aren't they all simple, simple cards, but all different layouts and easy to replicate and make many more of in a pretty quick fashion especially christmas cards i like them to be fast and easy but beautiful at the same time oops that's not the one that has the inside to it this one is um so pretty so i'm going to come back to my face here thanks for joining me today i love when you guys are here i love when you talk to me um, and I love that you encourage me all along the way. So God bless everybody. I'll see you here next Monday for my very last 
No, it's not true. My next Facebook Live, think about joining me on July 29th by purchasing that craft along kit um, that will be sent in the mail. We only have two more days to register for that because I've got to get everything cut and bought and packaged before the July 29th craft along event on Facebook. So God bless everybody. See you soon. I'll put all those links in the description here in just a minute. Bye-bye.